with that said, like I make rash decisions and that might be where this vlog is going. Okay, I wanna hear it. Does anyone else try really hard to drink a whole two cups of water before they get on with their coffee? So I made my coffee maybe a few sips into my water and now my coffee's cold. That's fun. This is probably gonna sound pathetic, but I think the thing that I looked forward to most this week was my Nespresso's coming within like 16 hours of me ordering them online. Shout out to Nespresso. They definitely have better shipping than Amazon because I ordered a package from Amazon two days ago. Got some booty bands. I'm really trying to, you know, work on the, the peach. I wanna take those to Australia. I was thinking about taking weights to Australia, but I'm like, why would I put six pounds in my suitcase that's just weights? Like, I'll wait till I get to Australia to buy the weights. I am going off on tangents because I didn't know how to start this vlog. I've been waiting all week. I've been trying to distract myself, truly. I don't want to talk about this. I want to get out of my brain and just like, focus on other things. There's a lot of nothing going on and I don't do well with that. I do not sit still or wait patiently and that's what life is looking like right now. There are some massive life events happening and like crying this morning, just really the build up is getting to me and in these moments I end up making a dramatic decision and I think that might be what happens, I'm trying not to. Marcus, my husband, is like opposite. He really can m help me take it slow, but if it was me, like, goodbye job, goodbye America. We'll see. I'll, I'll let you guys know everything that's going down. But first, to Jay Bravo's house and probably seeing the Fin Fin. Oh, and I truly apologize if you notice my eyeshadow's messed up. It's because my eyes just keep watering and the black is going everywhere. I tried for you guys, but it, it didn't work out in my favor this time. Also, I'm Flight Attendant JoJo. I Peloton. If you Peloton, you know, subscribe to this channel and let's be friends on Peloton. If anyone's curious how California is looking, it is, it is real warm. <laughs> Honestly, I'm wearing like a jacket and it's probably too warm. Could probably get an iced coffee this morning. Narrow. All right. This morning's coffee choice was an espresso campana with, um, so it's a triple. I got three shots of espresso with whipped cream on top and it's so yummy. Just because it's really warm outside and I don't feel like I wanna sip on a cup of coffee. Let's get the fluffy. Anything for us. What? What's you never greet us. Why are you so handsome? You are all groomed. Hi, Finn Finn. Go crazy for us. Go crazy. Yeah. Go, Finn. Oh, into the house he goes. Did Jay Bravo get a new bed? What is this? Finn Finn, say hi to the people. Say I miss you, people. Make sure you subscribe and like. Do the thumbs up. Here. Come on. Shake. Shake. Yeah. Good boy. You're such a good boy. Okay. This is what I've decided. We're going to chat while I work out because I'm just trying to get everything done all at once. So usually I don't work out in this. I am already dripping sweat with makeup on, but I'm trying to be productive. Marcus is also wearing... <laughs> Long sleeve. Yeah, I think we're gonna work out. We didn't didn't have this plan, but let's go. All right, peoples, let's go. I'm gonna sweat and chat. Let's get an update on um, CQ, like my training that I'm supposed to go do. I made a video yesterday, or I posted a video yesterday. I made it like a week ago. I have really bad upload times, so I apologize for that the past two weeks, but if you have not go gone and seen that video, that's the beginning to this video. I got a hold of the training desk three times, three times they told me no. So I decided, you know what, we have a union. So I'm, don't make fun of the way I work out, I'm just doing nonsense right now. I then decided I'll contact the union 
and see if they know anything about me getting a training date. And the union said, there's nothing that I can do. I just have to wait, <sighs> which is so frustrating because my friend got a call legit the next day. We were supposed to be, I was hoping to be in his training class Thursday and Friday. So today and yesterday, and that didn't happen. And then massive prayers for everyone that's going through the whole like Arctic freeze right now. Dallas is one of those places. So I know that they're backed up, like his training date now got pushed back to next week. So maybe they'll contact me, but I know for sure they've been contacting everyone that was already in a training class and Dallas became Alaska and froze over. So now everyone's training got messed up, which pushes mine back. So that leads me to my next solution. I am a go-getter, super proactive, like I told you at the beginning of this video. So I asked the union, I called again. I was like, can I just leave? I just wanna leave it all. Like, I don't wanna leave my job. They've given the option to take a three month leave, a year leave, and then an 18 month, and I think I think they just added in 15 months. I would like to take the three months. This is me sharing with you guys as my community that always knows what's going on. There has been a family emergency in Australia and the reason why I said like, we're for sure going to Australia. Don't feel like we're gonna miss that. Like you'll see us in Sydney um, is because we knew this could happen sometime soon, but we weren't expecting it this soon, I don't think. But now it's happening. And now I'm feeling the urgency to get Marcus back with his family. And so for me, I would just be like, F it, babe, let's just go. You're my number one. You're my number one priority. You and being with your family during this time. And he's patient and he's like, no, Joe, you have to figure it out with your company and then we'll see. And I'm anxious, like I just want to call my manager. And this is also a new manager. I got a new manager in Dallas, like never met this person, don't know anything about them. Um, my LA manager, I knew, I had chatted with before. So, um, let me finish this set and move over sides and then I'll keep chatting. Oh. I want to email this new manager. I already have an email written out or text message and just be like, hey, I'm thinking about taking this three month leave. I don't want to, obviously, I wanna be in the skies, but like family comes first, always before work. Always, always, always. I, I know I have to go to training, like I have to go. I cannot leave for Australia before I go to this training. But I just want to go to Australia without going to training. I wanna be there last week. I do not wanna go in two weeks three weeks, like that will really kill me. Knowing that I've kept Marcus away from his family, I'm about to email him. I've been patient all week. Marcus told me to be patient and I've lost patience. And that Arctic freeze is probably coming to an end. So like, I probably will be contacted soon, but I just can't wait, you guys. What would you do? Would you like start being proactive real fast or wait it out and see what happens. The other thing is I was thinking about doing is I have to do a ton of classes, like um, online classes, and I will show you guys that in another video, but I'm like, maybe I'll just start doing them. And you know when you like speak something into existence, when you pray for things, like I've been praying that they call me for a training class, knowing that God will make it happen. So just say a prayer for me. But I'm like, if I start doing my classes online, do we think they'll contact me? Is that like making it happen because I'm taking the steps to making it happen? But at this point, I don't wanna to go to training. I just want to leave and get to Australia as soon as possible because we still have to quarantine. So that was my rant. And I don't know how the rest of this video is gonna go, but I need to get back to working out because this was like not actually a workout in any sense while I was filming. <laughs>